Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm not, not gone, I am still with you. I was struck down by the plague last Wednesday and therefore unable to complete my requirements of posting on YouTube a video. So you get your video now. I'm feeling very inspired and very motivated and today is a very exciting day because we're going to be finishing this massive beast of a painting. It's going to be part two of updating my portfolio. I'm very excited for part two. I don't know how you're feeling for part two, but I'm excited for part two. And I want to, by the end of this video, to have this darn thing up on my wall. Kind of level finished. Kind of level, kind of level finished. It's going to be so done that no one can question that it's not done. Take that. I know. Anyways, so I'm going to begin. Hope you're all doing well. I'm just excited to jump into it all. I am very excited for this piece because I actually just like have a piece of wall that I can use to hang it up. So, I mean, I won't have that problem of finding a spot for it, which is great. But yeah, I've just set up my little art corner and I am going to get to it. This means that I won't get any paint on me. I feel like this painting is making me violent. I need to be kind to my art, but I, I feel like I need a punching bag on one side, my art on the other. Get out of the bad feelings and then serenely caress the canvas on the other side. I don't even know. Someone help me. I like this house, but I feel like if I was to do houses, I want them bigger. Every time. How remarkable. My paint is not dried yet. See, I feel like I want like big houses here. Hang on, I'll move you so you can really, really see what's going on here. Cause we got a nice small one, but this is like the sky. And I do like the contrast of the flowers with this, but it's very it's much too disjointed. So, I mean, I'm just gonna go in. So it's a very wide house. Oh, see, I love that. We could have these houses like stuffed with color. That would be so fun. Imagine how great that would be. We could have like heaps of big ones and small ones. Like all the different, this could be the sky. This could be some strange alien planet and then Great. My roof is off, yes, I know that. So I've been thinking about doing maybe some like lives when I do my painting. You know, going on a little live so you can come join me and we can chat. That would be really fun, but let me know. You know, a tip for any of you in vintage who are painting at the same time, number one, don't do it, it's a bad idea. Number two, if you are gonna do it, make sure you're wearing 80s clothing. Not that I wanna ruin 80s clothing or anything, but more that, uh, it's not as old. I realized this the other day, but like one of the biggest stresses for me in painting and creating anything is just finding somewhere to put it after I finish doing it. Cause I, I do everything in one room. So I, I utilize my closet and I have some stuff up on the walls, but it's like, where do you put it? Especially for like these wacky, like sculptural 3D crazy things that are like both really fragile and awkward to put anywhere. I need to like build shelves or give them away. Like are these connected to some kind of bush? What is going on?
we'll soon be battling our demons. So don't bring me into this. Cause I got to find my way out of these little situations. We are back for day two and I'm really excited to jump in. I did add more acrylic but I have my big box of I have like plastic and cardboard. I even have a glove in here. Christmas lights. The list goes on. So we'll add some fun things. I was thinking it would be so great to add aluminum foil right around here because I don't know. It's just an artist instinct. I don't know, <laughs> I just thought it would look cool. Um, but I can't find it anyway, so I'll see what I have in here. I also have some bubble wrap. I need like one of those artist aprons that I can just cover with paint. Or you know what I want? I want coveralls, white coveralls that I can just get as messy as I want. But for now, I will be painting in glam. You know, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some gold in here too.
So I have this idea for around this building here. It kind of looks like a church, but I don't know if it's going to be, but to, um, cause I layered the plastic on top with the white paint. And I think I want to do some red mandalas. And I have these really great gold, thin metal discs that do resemble, you know, bring it a little closer, um, mandalas. So I thought I'll go ahead and I'll paint them red and then I'll put them on this little foam disc that I cut out, one of these long sausages. And so I have a bit of height and I can position them over the church like so. So that's gonna be a bit more of a ground project that's separate to the painting that then will be assembled on top. But I'm really happy with how the foil turned out up on the top. And yeah, I'm just experimenting with adding different textures and I really, really, really wanna bring in different textures and different materials that are not just acrylic. So it's really great to be incorporating them. And I had just enough foil left that I found in order to do this little top section up here, which is where I wanted it and I'm really happy. So I've stuck these on for now with glue, but I will be going back over and painting over them again with red because you can still just see a tiny bit of the metal peeking through. I'm thinking of also going over and adding some ones that I hand paint as well because we have the great texture of the plastic on here. And yeah, so this is just kind of the beginnings of what I'm gonna be working on around here. Obviously I'm gonna finish this area a little more but this is the general idea. So I think I'm gonna end the video here for today, but I definitely will be posting a part three as obviously I have not finished it yet. Um, I just, mostly it's because it has to dry is why this is taking longer than usual, but I made a lot of progress and I have a great vision for it, a very refreshed one and updated one for continuing. And I think in the next part will be the final part in which we finish this painting. I'm not going to say it's a curse but it's certainly taking time but i will be finishing it in a video and thank you everyone for coming along for this video today and taking part in the process with me it was really fun i explored adding some plastic and some other mediums and some reusing objects that i had lying around which was a lot of fun and yeah, just thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. If you have any video ideas, or want to comment at all on the process or what you're thinking with this piece, definitely let me know down in the comments below. My Instagram is at Kate Confetti Girl if you do want to see more of my art and vintage as well. And yeah, I love you all. Bye.